Hey friends, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am taking part in the Ugly Duckling Challenge. Now this challenge is hosted by Heidi from Happily Thriving Heidi and Casey from The Desert DIY. The challenge was to find something ugly. So I went to Goodwill and found something I thought that was super ugly and I transformed it into something super cute. And I can't wait to show you guys. So this is the item I found at Goodwill. Now, do you agree with me that this thing is ugly? I mean, maybe it was nice in its day, but it's, I wouldn't use it. I don't like it. The colors aren't for me. The style's not for me. So I gave myself the challenge to remake this into something really cute. Now, if you are new to my channel, I want to welcome you. I'm Julie, and here on my channel, I do DIYs, home decor, and organization, and I do it on a budget. So if that's something that interests you, make sure you hit the red subscribe button as well as the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Now let's get to transforming this ugly duckling. So I found this metal wall hanging. I, I'm thinking it's probably for like a door. Um, and I got it for $3 at Goodwill. And when I saw it, I knew I could make it something beautiful. Now I am going to be using for sure the gray, the black, and the white paint, but I wasn't sure if maybe I wanted to give it a rusted look. So I also took out a couple other paints, but I ended up just sticking with the look of metal. So I'm painting the entire thing with the mineral chalk paint. I did do about three coats of this and I painted the entire thing, the front and the back. I did not paint the inside because there's no reason to paint the inside. <laughs> And then once the gray was dry, I took a little piece of a sponge that I cut and I just went in and sponge painted some black, then did some white, then went back again with some gray. And I just kept playing with it until I liked the way it looked. Now I did not have to do the middle because I'm gonna be covering it completely. Now that it's all dry, this is how it looks. And I'm gonna be taking this piece of scrap burlap that I have. It used to be a runner, but it's got stained and it was ruined. Now I'm just kind of eyeballing it and cutting to cover up the pattern in the center. And I'm also fraying the edges by by um, just peeling some of the burlap apart. And then I am just going to hot glue it on to the metal wall hanging. Now you do just do a little bit of glue at a time because, because of the metal, it's cold, and so the glue dries really quick. So I just did little sections and then um, attached the burlap. And I'm actually also going to be covering most of the burlap, so the wrinkles in the middle really didn't matter. And then I went through and just trimmed some of the edges so it was straight looking. Now I got this free printable off of a blog. I will have it linked below in my description box. And I am just going to hot glue this right onto the burlap. Now I actually love this because I love when decor can be changed seasonally, and I plan to change this sign out with the seasons. Now that everything is finished, I'm just going to add the last touches, which is these three greenery picks. I just bent the ends up and stuck them in here. Now I could have left it like this, but I wanted to add these cute little Dollar Tree carrots because I want it to look like a carrot patch where you can buy the carrots for 25 cents a piece. So I just stuck them in here. I did three more towards the front and then two towards the back. So I used five total. Mm -hmm. 
And then I am going to take one of these little chalkboard signs from the Dollar Tree and I wrote 25 cents on it, again, just to match the printable that I used. And I did use a chalk marker. Now the last thing I decided to do was take a little bit of this black and white gingham ribbon, tie a little bow, and attach it to the top of the metal um, hanging, the wire hanging part. And here it is hanging in my kitchen. Let me know down in the comments how do you think I did on this ugly duckling challenge. Don't forget to check out the um, link in my description box. I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!